Papa Higgs, I have two more questions about preparing for the future. Is it okay if I go off topic and ask them again? Yeah, for sure. I just want to know, uh, for one, if there are any safe haven countries to move to to escape the issues, to, to escape the issue. And two, and I was wondering when it was supposed to start. I'm pretty uh, ignorant about it all, but I heard about it from uh, some good sources. Uh, where is it supposed to start? Look, um, are there first of all, are there any safe places to go to? What's what's happening is going to be an economic calamity, right? So if you're living in a place where you don't have access to fresh water, all your food is brought in from outside of your region, right? If you're surrounded in a mega city where if all of a sudden the supply chain is cut, people are going to be scrambling to get food and stuff. I would personally move away from those regions, right? So you don't want to be in mega cities, uh, especially large cities in the Western world, right? Especially in Europe, uh, because you don't know if all of a sudden supply chain is going to be cut and there's going to be mass shortages of multiple products, right? Water is key. Water is key, right? Energy is key. Energy is key. If you're living in a place where you have psychopaths as leaders, look into leaving that area. For me, I live in BC, Canada. We have psychopaths uh, as our leaders right now. We're I'm surrounded by woke losers, like literally woke losers, right? They're they're such losers that they're fascist, but they actually in their mind think they're anti-fascist. Like. It, it, it's it's insane you look at them and they support fascism but they actually think they're not fascists they're fighting fascism it's the weirdest shit you ever saw in your life right so if i didn't if i wasn't if it wasn't necessary for me to be in british columbia canada even though we have lots of water and there's lots of farms here and stuff like this population isn't too heavy so there's lots of nature to escape to lots of fresh water very important but i'm surrounded by woke losers fascists right the main thing that's keeping me here is because we have elderly family that we have to be here for right so no matter what anybody says family first right so we're committed to our family, which is why we will be here. Okay. But as soon as the elderly family are gone, and if these woke losers are still in power, fascists are still in power, and we're still surrounded by these woke loser fascists, then we will be leaving British Columbia. There's no doubt about it. Okay. So it's really a personal thing you have to sort of figure out for yourself right do you have family that you're committed to can you leave your loved ones behind can you take your loved ones with you right you have to understand that if you're living in a place where uh your sus your sustenance your your life is dependent on everything coming from outside of that region you probably don't want to be there you want to be somewhere where you have access to water and food, right? Make sure that all your money is not just in a bank, centralized bank. All your wealth is not on, in fiat currency or in the stock market, right? Make sure you have alternate means of income, right? As far as, seriously, as far as a safe place to go to, there's a lot of people in Canada that have moved to Mexico. Is Mexico safe? Uh, it's less tyrannical than Canada, that's for sure, right? But if you live in the United States, people are leaving California in droves. Why? Because California is a shithole now. The, the people running California, they're psychopaths. Like literally psychopaths, right? They don't have the best interest of 
people in California in mind. So a lot of people from California are leaving California and going to states where you have way more freedom, where it's not tyrannical state, right? Tyr tyrannical regime. So you have to sort of think about it on that level. You might not need to leave your country. You might just need to leave where you are in that country. So in BC, Canada, a lot of nurses and doctors in British Columbia have left for Alberta because Alberta is not tyrannical, not as much anyway as British Columbia. So healthcare in British Columbia has completely plummeted. Done. You do not want to get sick in British Columbia. You do not want to go to the hospital in British Columbia, Canada. You really don't, right? Because it's collapsed. Okay. It's collapsed. So Higgs, I hope that's answering your question. Make sure you have tangible assets as well, right? A lot of people are going towards gold and silver and crypto, right? I'm not making uh, personal, I'm not giving personal finance advice to buy crypto or don't buy crypto. Uh, but I can tell you that I've been recommending people buy gold and silver, okay? I've been I've been mentioning that gold and silver for a number of months now, right? Probably more, a couple of years now, right? As I was recommending crypto for a long time, people who've been uh, following our work, right? Um, so uh, take everything I say with a grain of salt, but you have to look at your own personal uh, circumstances, your family circumstances, your commitments, uh, who you care for, who you love. Uh, where you want to be right personally for me really i've talked to family and stuff like this right now there's certain places in the world that are booming that their, their economic future looks phenomenal okay one of those places is russia russia's economic future looks better than any other country that i've looked at okay I know Western corporate propaganda says otherwise. That's because Western countries are collapsing. If I wasn't living in Europe, as long as I didn't have family commitments there, I know a lot. there's a lot of Europeans here that are watching the stream, right? Watching our content. And they have commitments to family. They have to stay there, right? If I didn't have any commitments and I was living in Europe, I'd get the fuck out of Europe. Europe started two world wars and it's on track to do the third one right to do the third one 